guys, this is Backdraft, and welcome to Sky Factory 3, episode 31. So, in the last episode, we spent the lot of our time building this crazy factory-looking thing, and I think this thing turned out awesome. I've got an idea for making the smokestacks look a little more realistic and round, um, but that's for a future video. Um, so, to start off this video, I want to show you guys what I've done off-camera. So, I've started to move all of my stuff into this little factory area over here. So I've got a nether portal. I've kind of got like a little uh, workshop station going on over here where I've got an, a sag mill and an alloy smelter and some fluid tanks with a bunch of lava, um, my ultimate furnace, uh, my crafting grid, and a few other things. Um, yeah, I think it's starting to look pretty cool in here. Um, and then underneath, um, I can't remember what I did off camera because there's so much down here, but I've got uh, auto wheat and seeds over here, um, auto obsidian, this is auto glass, yes, um, and auto lava, fire water, um, conduit binder, and silicon, and clay, um, and then stone. Uh, yeah, so this thing's going crazy. And then another thing that I did off camera was I started getting rid of my ugly platforms. <laughs> so as you can see, this middle platform is completely gone. That one is just kind of floating in the middle of nowhere, as is that one, which is pretty awesome. So I've got a big plan for this episode. If you guys look down at my inventory, I've got myself my builder block once again, and I actually forgot my um, flux power. So let's go grab that real quick because I'm going to need that. But the plan for this episode is to build a chicken platform. And the way I'm gonna do that it, um, is pretty cool. I'm gonna use a couple different kinds of blocks. One is the anti, the anti block. I'm gonna use the white version of that. And I'm gonna use bone blocks to kind of mix up the texture a little bit, compressed bone blocks, I apologize. So. Let's go ahead and find a place for this platform. I'm just going to make a, um, a lower dome like I did for that. I think I'm going to put it next to it. And the platform, if I haven't said already, I don't think I did, is going to be my massive chicken area. So I'm going to start messing around a lot more with the chickens. And I'm going to start setting up auto nesting areas to feed into the... Um, um, refined storage system and it's just gonna be epic. I think I'm gonna put this bad boy over here somewhere um, Just so that when I'm hanging out in the factory it um, is going and then I'll eventually do so I want to eventually connect everything to maybe with through teleporters or something like that And I'm gonna have to move all these chickens over there, too So the, chi the only chickens that I really want right now are log chickens um, steel chickens silver chickens the ones that I have at least um, and I th think that's about it, minus aluminum chickens, and then the big daddy that I really want to get is prismarine chickens. Now, prismarine is rare in Sky Factory 3. The only way to get it is to sieve sponges, as far as I've seen so far, or to get it out of loot bags. Now, I don't want to rely on loot bags to get a resource, so I'm not going to do that. Um... And I was thinking maybe I could somehow set up um, through a mod or like a block or something that we could build um, an ocean monument and make like an ocean biome or something like that. But I don't know of anything that can do that. If you guys do, please leave a comment down below um, because it's going to take me a while to get Prismian Trickens. I probably want to have that until um, an, a few episodes from now. So if you know a way of getting Prismarine quicker instead of crafting sponges, because I think crafting sponges is kind of a pain because you require slime box, slime blocks and wood chippings. I mean, I could eventually set up a um, system to do that, but that would be really annoying to set up a factory like that. So I'm just going to go with the prismarine chicken. And that's a long way away because you need lapis chickens. You need a water chicken, which requires a gunpowder chicken and a lapis chicken. And then there's something else I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But let's get to going. I want to see how this platform is going to turn out. So let's set her up. Um, let's go to sleep first. And by the way, my bed is now in here. I'm actually going to turn this into like a bedroomy area. Okay, so let's come out here. I don't know how far away. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm just going to set her down right here. I need the angel block. Set her down right there. And then we'll set the builder block down on top of that. And let's grab the angel block. Don't fall into the void. And then we'll place the lever down. We'll put the chest on top and the flux power on the bottom as usual. And we'll connect that to Backdraft's network. 
And then we should be all set with that bad boy. Um, it just sucked 10 million RF. I don't know if it had 10 million in it before. But, um, yeah. I'm curious, actually, how much uh, cactus do I have in here? Oh, quite a bit, actually. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. I think the shape card is already in it. If not, I'll go grab it. Let's double check. Okay, it is. So... This is doing a sphere. I can't remember the dimensions of that, um, but I definitely want a, what is it, a solid bottom dome? Let's turn on the preview. Yep, that's what I want. So, um, well, I don't want it to be that low. Let me fix the offset first off, and I don't want it to be that small. I want it to be wider, yet thinner. And I don't know exactly how to do. That's not right. Um, does this one need to be 30 and that one needs to be 10? Let's see how that looks. Ugh. No, absolutely not. Um, it must be that has to be 30, and that one is the Y. There we go. Okay, so we're going to make it... Um, I can't remember exactly how big I made that one. It looks like this one will be bigger. They don't have to be the same size. Um, hmm. But... Um, and I don't know if I want to do it all white. I mean, I can always change it in the future. I think that's too tall. Let's change that a bit. Let's make it 35 by 35 by 6. 3,000 blocks, Jesus. Okay, um, how does that look? Okay, that's not too shabby. That's pretty freaking big. <laughs> I don't know if it's bigger than that one. I think that's about the same size. I'll have to remember the dimensions if I want to make them the same size. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but let's see. Inside, that'll give me like one, two, three blocks. Um, let's make it um, seven. So it's going to be 35, seven, 35. And that'll give me that. And then it'll give me one, two, three blocks again. I think that's about the size I would want because let me stand in the middle and see what I got. So, yeah. It looks like, okay. Um, it looks like that could work. That would definitely be a big enough area for me to screw around with the chickens. So, let's start building it. I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera, but I'm going to go grab some blocks and see how it looks. And I don't know why I just flew all the way over here. That is completely pointless since I have a crafting grid in my factory now. Okay, so anti-blocks. I can chisel them into white, so that's not a big deal. We'll grab four stacks of those. And then compressed bone blocks. We'll grab four, one, two, three, four stacks of those. If it ever loads. Two. There we go. Oh, I grabbed five bags there. Okay. So, need my chisel. Grab that bad boy. Three, bam. And then we'll chisel all these back into white. Now, I don't know if this is going to look fugly or not, so bear with me. I've yet to test this design, but I think it actually won't look so bad. So, let's turn her on. And bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. I think that looks pretty... <laughs> I don't know. I mean... Ew. Oh, it's solid. I did not want that. Um, eh, I can always hollow out an area underneath. It's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. Um, hmm. Um, this is kind of weird looking. 
The only thing is I didn't want it to be solid because I didn't want the floor to be that. I just wanted the outside to look cooler-ish. You know what? I'm going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. If you guys think it's absolutely disgusting, just say something in the comments, but we're going to stick with it. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix this. I'm also going to fix the floor and hollow out an area underneath because I think all I'm going to need for this is just one chest. Um, feed all the chicken loot into one little uh, ender chest and then into the storage sphere or into a separate storage sphere because I don't know how much of the storage sphere is currently occupied, so we'll figure something out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, ladies and gents, I have made some progress on my chicken platform, and it has been quite a while since I have released um, or <laughs> recorded my last clip. It's been a few hours. I've done a lot of work on this thing. It is not done, but dun dun dun. There it is. This thing looks sick nasty. <laughs> Definitely let me know your guys' thoughts. But the idea behind this is I kind of wanted to make it look like a bird's nest covered in bird poo. <laughs> and that's what the, the compressed bone blocks and the um, uh, anti-blocks, I think is what they're called, were for. I didn't want to spoil it and I didn't want to ruin anything. <laughs> and um, I may end up adding like a glass dome or maybe like a bone block, anti-block and glass dome. And I'll just fly into the top of it whenever I want to go into here. But I'm not going to do that yet because... I could eventually start stacking stuff on top because right now this has space for eight different sections of chickens. Like, for example, this is the one with my log chickens. This is my nether quartz chickens, steel chickens, silver chickens. And then I've got, a f um, I think, five more open slots. So I can put whatever chickens I want. Like I said before, I want to get a prism. I want to get prismarine chickens um, and aluminum chickens. After that, I'm not sure what I'll end up doing. But really, I'm only going for resources that are a little more difficult to get and a little more grindy, um, like uh, logs, definitely. So um, as you can see, these guys have been chilling here for a while, and they've been dropping quite a few stuff, uh, quite a bit of stuff, rather, uh, because I have not hooked up any conduits or anything to these uh, nesting pens yet. But the idea is, which is another reason why I want to put a dome around this thing, is because I'm going to be running conduits behind this stuff, and it's going to be feeding down into here and into an ender chest in the middle. So let me show you guys what's going on underneath. It's a little more um, gross down there. It looks like you're surrounded by bird poo, but it's okay because we're not looking for showmanship down below, so let's go. All right, I got two rooms going on here. This room is the um, breeding room. So right now I've got the snowball chicken and the gunpowder chicken going in order to make water chickens. Um, I had one water chicken egg. It looks like I had a second one, actually. I'll grab that and incubate that um, in the next room. And if you hadn't guessed already, the next room over here is the incubation room. So I have, I think, 13 nesting pens going on here. Egg nests is what you call them. I got one water chicken, which is about to hatch. And now I got a second one, just in case... For a backup. There are a few other chickens that I had running around, but I don't really need them, so the poor little guys went to um, Chicken Heaven. <laughs> and um, I promise you, uh, they were they were slaughtered humanely. <laughs> um, alrighty, so the next step after this, you can breed a lapis blue chicken and a water chicken, and that's how you get yourself your prismarine chickens. And once I get prismarine chickens, that's going to be fantastic. So there are four little uh, tunnels here, each of which lead to... Um, a uh, side of the bottom dome and what's gonna what's gonna uh, be going on is I'm gonna have conduits come out and I'll probably have that blocked off to make it look a little nicer but I'll have conduits coming out of each of these four sections that are gonna feed into an ender chest which I'm probably gonna throw right there maybe um, I haven't quite figured this out yet but I want to lead all of the nesting pens which are up top here into one chest which I'm probably gonna make another storage sphere for which will be like the chicken drop storage sphere and I'm probably gonna put it next to this other one over here and while I'm over here a little bit of off-camera work as you guys can see that I've done I've gotten rid of the section that was dedicated to chickens and now I just kind of got a floating uh, grass some um, area here um, I'm eventually going to make just one big platform uh, just for grass and for spawning passive mobs. Um, and I may set up a passive mob farm, although I don't think that that would be um, all that useful, honestly. Um, because 
I mean, pigs, uh, I could get wool, but you can get wool from, from string, and I have tons and tons of string over here in the mob farm, so that's not a problem at all. Um, and the next thing was this, actually. Um, this is where my log chickens were before, and um, I moved all of my logs into my refined storage system, and I kind of got rid of what was in this uh, storage crate because it's really not neat. It was just a bunch of eggs and poop and crap and... Yeah, so wasn't really needed, and um, it's about time to get rid of this platform, actually. Um, I'm feeling a little nostalgic because this was the area I started in. I mean, 31 episodes later, and dear freaking God, look how much we've accomplished with this series. And, um, yeah, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. <laughs> Sorry, um, okay, uh, back to it. Um... Yeah, so, uh, we're going to get rid of this platform. We'll have a funeral, I'll say a few words, uh, because this is the very first platform we built. Alrighty, um, it was a good platform. It served me well in in the midst of of uh, creepers and, and, and zombies and, and endermen alike. It protected me, and it shaded me from the harsh elements and provided me a place that I could call home. R.I.P. Goodbye, platform. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, I'm over it. So, next up, um... I need to do a bit more off-camera work because I am absolutely not going to film myself, um... wiring up all the conduits for this thing. Uh, because that is just a complete and utter bore fest. So, um, I mean, I think there's around 27 nesting pens per section, 27 times eight, that's 80. And then eight times seven is like, um, 54. So that's like two, like 120 something conduits I'm going to need to place. Luckily I have a conduit probe so I can just copy all the settings and not have to worry about going into every single freaking one of them and copying the settings over. But, um, that's what I'm going to do off camera. So, the next future plan, um, besides getting rid of this platform and this one, I think I'm going to move my squid farm to the area underneath my factory over here. And I apologize, but for some reason, this area is extremely laggy, probably because of all the crap that's going on down here. But I'm probably going to move the squid farm down here um, and let that go. Um, another future plan, which you'll probably see in the near future, is I want to build a ghast farm. Now, for those of you who are like, how in the world do you build a gas farm, Backdraft? Um, <laughs> it's quite simple, actually. Remember witch water? Uh, you put a squid through witch water, and it becomes a ghast. Yeah, and then you just blow them around with mob fans, and there you go. You got a gas farm, because gas tears are going to be useful. You can get gas tears, I think, from sieving soul sand or netherrack? Um... Might as well take a look real quick. Uh, sieving soul sand. Yeah, but that's just, you know, um, I do have a lot of soul sand being created, but um, that's another thing on the radar is actually a wither farm, and you're going to need a lot of soul sand for a wither farm. Um, okay, so future plans. Um, this I plan on expanding. I want to have like five of these together, maybe like six of them together and just get Inferium Essence out the yin-yang. I want to upgrade the dirt to um, fertilized dirt. And I, once I get Prismarine Chickens going, I'm going to make growth crystals out the yin-yang so this stuff goes nuts. And then I'm going to get rid of this because I want to build an agricultural platform. And I have an awesome idea for that, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys. And then another platform I need to build is I need to get rid of my super sieve platform over here and build a dedicated platform to sieving, which I also have an awesome plan for. And then finally, I eventually want to make my reactor a bit bigger. And it looks like it's ran out of yellowium. Um... Okay, so that's good. And then a couple more things. Um, I want to go into the end and fight the Ender Dragon, and I want to go into the Deep Dark. Let's go look at the book. It's been a while since we've looked at the book. Let's see what we've got on our plate for um, next up. Okay, that's all good. Next is use a psyllium dagger to obtain a mob chunk. That isn't so bad. Um, travel to the bottom of the never using a boat. Travel to the beneath. 
dimension, travel to the end, kill the ender dragon, collect dragon's breath, travel to the end. Yeah, that's all stuff we can do when we actually go to the end. Now, the Age of Machines actually did a lot of this stuff already. Lincoln had punched it in chest. That's simple. We're not going to worry about that. Age of Power, I did a few of those already. Well, I'm 100,000 RF a tick and a million RF a tick. That's just nuts. Then we got the green energy age. Um, create the maximum size of reactor. That is also insane. But uh, yeah, I think the next thing we're going to do is either use this only to be the mom truck or we're going to go into the end or into the beneath dimension. So for those of you who don't know what the, the beneath dimension is, it's it's formerly known as the deep dark. And I fucking spell it right. Um, and the way you get there is with a beneath teleporter. Now for this, you need unstable ender pearls, which is simply wither dust and ender pearls. And then you need one quintuple compressed cobblestone, which is 59,000 cobblestone. And four quadruple compressed cobblestone, which is 6,561 cobblestone. So that's just a bunch of compression. Now in the deep dark, if you guys don't know what that is, I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but um, I'm sure I'll eventually get there. But, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, that is all the time I have for this episode. If you had enjoyed it, please do not hesitate to hit that thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. If you guys didn't like it and you need to give me suggestions down in the comments on how I can improve my videos. And uh, if you guys want to be notified about future videos for this series, head over to Twitter at BackdraftGamer is the handle and give me a follow. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now up to 100 subscribers on my channel and I cannot thank you guys enough for getting me there. That is one big milestone. And, um... Yeah, uh, also, um, I'm starting a brand new series, Feed the Beast Beyond, on the V for Vanilla Tough Dude server. Um, the series already has episode one out, so go and check that out, and stay tuned for future videos on that. Um, alrighty, guys, thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.